This is a Geo podcast. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so first, tell us a little bit about yourself and your co-op. My name is Tyler Brown, and I am from Worcester, Massachusetts, where I am representing Future Focus Media Co-op, where we work on media, web design, graphic design, photography, and cinematography for our community and for business. Okay, and what's the best part of being a worker owner? The best part of being a worker owner that I learned is that it's more democratic, which means that if there are things that you do not agree with, you can speak up from your own perspective and have that conversation with other worker owners on what you can do to make the business more effective or to make it more open and more respective to your personal needs. And what's the most difficult part of being a worker owner? I think the most difficult part of being a worker owner, which I will take in responsibility myself, is making sure that everybody is working as hard to get the vision across. You know, if you have someone, if you have a worker owner of four and you have three people that work really, 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 really hard to get the vision across and that one person doesn't really work as hard, but you guys are all worker owners and you guys all get the same pay, so you all get the same takeaway, it's kind of unfair. So you got to make sure that if you're going to have that space... You're going to make everybody is pushing, pitching in, you know, what they want to get out of it. Where do you need the most support right now? What? I don't, I don't get it. What do you mean? Uh, and what, like, what, in terms of the and the, co- and the co-op? And yeah. What do we need the most support? Like, my co-op? Yeah. Um, marketing? Is going well? Or? Marketing. Yeah. I would okay. say marketing. So, okay. getting, just getting our name out there, because we have good, we have, we get good gigs, but like we can, we can, we know we can do better if we just pushed ourselves a little more on the marketing and just getting our name as, out there as much as possible. Okay, hopefully we Not can. too help. far away. And lastly, what is your message to the cooperative movement? The message to the cooperative movement. Yeah, what do you want the people to know? Hmm. Think about it. Don't rush it. Message to the cooperative movement. What do you think the cooperative movement can do better? Like, how is it on, how is it on race? How is it on class? How is it on um, getting people that aren't looking at cooperatives involved? So. The message to the cooperative movement. I think the cooperative movement is doing really well in terms of education, but I guess it would be maybe making it more aware I mean I don't I can't really be like oh yeah you guys need to do this exactly to make it more aware but I remember I've only learned about co-ops a year ago so I didn't know about co-ops up into anything I didn't even know what a co-op was up in, the only thing I knew co-op was video games you know like because you were cooperative but um <laughs> but um up until that point I had no idea what co-ops was and I probably wouldn't have known unless my friend didn't tell me to hey try to do this for this youth program so I guess it would be kind of you know, like making it more, making it more known, which they're already doing a great job, but I guess it would be keep doing that. Okay. That's, that's what I would say personally. Great. Yeah. All right. Is so that okay? Much, thank you. All right. Thank you. Great. Is that it? Yeah. Thank you for listening. Check us out at geo.coop. <laughs>